Ready. Hi, Denise here, doing a five-part video series on alignment in the flow. Now, what I mean by flow is the sun salutations, which are usually at least at the beginning of a practice and often woven through the practice, and then we call it vinyasa. Now, because we do these particular series of movements so frequently, it is really essential that we get the alignment right. Now, what do I mean by alignment? Good alignment to me means that I am moving freely without any pain, I'm accessing my full strength, and it feels good and my breath can be fully expressed. So that's what I'm going for in this video series. How can I help you get there? Let me give you an example. Chaturanga Dandasana is a very challenging component of the sun salutation and most people are not strong enough to do Chaturanga Dandasana in good alignment. Something is missing for them. So here's a test to see if full Chaturanga is actually available to you at this moment in time. Number one, can you move your body as though it's one piece? So here I am at the beginning place of Chaturanga in upper push-up position. I would like to be able to lower my body. I'm going to take my heart over my hands and I should be able to move my body as though it were one piece here. If my core is weak and my belly wants to come down, my belly should never be coming down first in Chaturanga Dandasana. Another thing that I often see is collapse through the shoulders. So if the shoulders start to tip forward, it just feels terrible. And you're going to really struggle to come into upper facing dog. And it often looks like this. And there's the pain face too. Elbows are the other place where we lose integrity in this pose. And the elbows might be sticking out. So this is a wretched position to put yourself in. Absolutely no fun. So let's see if we can find a better alignment where we're moving as one piece and inhaling with the breath, moving strongly into the next part of the sun salutation. So tomorrow, I'm gonna to talk about weaving the breath through your sun salutation. Your breath should be able to sustain you, it makes you feel powerful and fluid and graceful. And that's where we're going next, so very essential component. Please put your comments below. I'd love to hear the things that you struggle with in your sun salutation. And I will see you next week with the video on the breath. Thanks for joining. Bye for now.